Today, we will talk about average life. The average life is the length of time the principal of a debt issue is expected to be outstanding. This is called the average life, and it does not take into account interest payments, but only principal payments made on the loan or security. For example, in loans, mortgages, and bonds, the average life is the average period of time before the debt is repaid through amortization or sinking fund payments. Also called the weighted average maturity and weighted average life, the average life is calculated to determine how long it will take to pay the outstanding principal of a debt issue, such as a treasury bill or bond. Investors use the average life calculation to measure the risk associated with amortizing bonds, loans, and mortgage-backed securities. To calculate the average life, multiply the date of each payment by the percentage of total principal that has been paid by that date, add the results, and divide by the total issue size. For example, assume an annual paying four-year bond has a face value of $200 and principal payments of $80 during the first year, $60 for the second year, $40 during the third year, and $20 for the fourth, and final, year. The average life for this bond would be calculated with a formula and the result would be two years. In the case of an MBS or ABS, the average life represents the average length of time required for the associated borrowers to repay the loan debt. The risk associated with an MBS or ABS centers on whether the borrower associated with the loan will default. If the borrower fails to make a payment, the investors associated with the security will experience losses. While certainly not as dire as default risk, another risk bond investors face is prepayment risk. This occurs when the bond issuer pays back the principal earlier than scheduled, thereby shortening the investment's average life and reducing the amount of interest the investor will receive. Most investors will choose an investment with a shorter average life as this means they will receive their investment return sooner. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The average life is the average length of time it will take to repay the outstanding principal on a debt issue, such as a treasury bill, bond, loan, or mortgage-backed security. 2. The average life calculation is useful for investors who want to compare the risk associated with various investments before making an investment decision. 3. Most investors will choose an investment with a shorter average life as this means they will receive their investment return sooner. 4. Prepayment risk occurs when the loan borrower or bond issuer repays the principal earlier than scheduled, thereby shortening the investment's average life and reducing the amount of interest the investor will receive. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.